word has it that you made some AI music with Suno that you want to put on places like Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and Amazon. And maybe you've even watched some other tutorials that cover this, but you still have questions like, how do I keep my songs from being rejected? Do I need to credit Suno as a co-writer or producer? If I have AI vocals, who do I put as the singer? Well, hush, let old baby don't say a word, because Chill Panic's here to help, because I have been releasing music on platforms like Spotify and Apple Music since 2015, and I've also uploaded 100% prompt generated music, so I've run into every single problem, and if you don't want to have to keep going back to YouTube to remember how to do this process, I actually made this ebook called Suno Made Simple, and in the last section, it has everything you need to upload, including what to do with the artwork, what type of file you need, how to upload the metadata. That is in the link in the description, or you can get it on the YouTube shop. So the very first step in this process is to make sure that your song sounds as good as possible and you download the highest quality file that you can. One thing that you can do in Suno that they just added is called Remaster. You just click the three little dots on the side, go to Recreate, and go to Remaster. Basically what this is going to do is create two new generations of your song and Suno is going to try to make it sound better and more high fidelity. Once you've heard which one that you like, whenever you download, make sure that you download the WAV audio, not the MP3, because the WAV files are gonna be larger and include more information about your song, which is gonna make them sound more high quality. Then once you have your song downloaded, you need to do something called mastering. Put simply, mastering is just the last point in the music production process that makes your song sound as good as possible and competitively loud with other songs. There's a lot of different options for this. Distributors usually have their own AI mastering included in their service or you can use something like lander or you can get somebody like me to master it for you and just so you can see and hear the difference this is what suno gave us and, and this is the song after mastering now that you have your ai song mastered it's time to create the cover art and before we actually create it, there's some things to note to make sure that your art gets accepted every time by music distributors. One, you want it to be a JPEG. You want it to be 3000 by 3000 pixels. You want to make sure that it's high quality and make sure that it contains no logos, website addresses, social media handles, or price tags. And what better way to make cover art for AI music than AI image generator? My favorite is Mid Journey, so I just created this. And we're just gonna download that. However, with most AI image generators, they're gonna give you a WebP file and you wanna convert that to JPEG. And there's two different ways you can do this. You can send it to an online image converter to just convert the image from WebP to JPEG. But my preferred method is to just go to something like Canva so that way I can choose the pixels and I can edit it a bit and change it to how I like. So in Canva, you just want to go to custom size, just type in 3000 by 3000, upload your image and just stretch it out to be the full image. Then you can edit it however you want to. And then whenever you go to download it, just download it as a JPEG. So now that we have our high quality song and our high quality cover art, it's time to publish. We do this by using what's called a music distributor, which is basically just a delivery service for your music. You upload your song once to the distributor and then the distributor uploads it to things like Spotify, YouTube Music, and Amazon Music. I'm just gonna use DistroKid because that's just what I've been using for years. So whenever you go to upload your song, you can see they already have a bunch of different places ticked off like TikTok, Deezer, Spotify, Apple Music, all the places. You can also enable Snapchat and just say that yes, you own the publishing and you can also send it to Roblox now, as long as you're not with a PRO. And if you don't know what a PRO is, then you are not with a PRO. Then the very first field is the number of songs. So if you're doing an album, you would just do multiple songs. For this instance, we're just doing one song. Has a single been previously released? Probably not. And then you can select an artist or band name. I already have one, so I'm just gonna select mine. And if you don't have an artist name yet, you don't have to worry about this section. Once you release your first song, you're gonna automatically have a profile created for you across Spotify and Apple Music and all the other distribution platforms. Then you can choose your release date. If you choose today, sometimes it'll actually be up within a few hours, but most of the time it takes around three to seven days to show up in Spotify. You can create a name for your record label. You decide the language that it's in. 
And then you choose your primary genre. For this one, it's just gonna be rock. And then here's where you upload your cover art. Make a name for your song, banana banana. And this is where a lot of people who do 100% prompt generated music get confused. You do not need to add a singer name for the AI vocals that you have. You don't have to credit Suno. You don't have to say anything about the use of AI in your music yet. However, Spotify did just partner up with DDEX for more transparency about this. So very soon in all of the music distributors, you're going to start seeing fields that ask if AI helped in this music. And according to Spotify, making sure that you're honest about the use of AI in your music is actually going to help in not getting your AI music taken down. So make sure that you are transparent about that once that rolls out. But as for now, you don't have to mention it at all. So for this ad featured artist, the song title, just don't worry about that. And this is where you upload your song. And the Dolby Atmos Spatial Audio, if you didn't specifically get your song mixed with that, then just click no. And right here for songwriter, just click music and lyrics, and then just put your first, middle, and last name. And click yes if your lyrics are explicit, like have curse words or mention explicit material. Apple Music, they added this recently where you have to add credits for each song on the release. And all you have to do is add one performer and one producer. I literally just click something randomly, like I'll just go to Bassoon and just put your first and last name and the same thing with producer. Then DistroKid will attempt to upsell you with all of these other things. Then you make sure all of these are checked and you hit done. If you'd like to learn more about how to actually prompt Suno, check out this video. What the fuck is on my arm? And if you want a resource that you can always come back to whenever you're uploading your music, Get the Suno Made Simple ebook that you can get in the link in the description. And have a nice day, homie.